In this video, we will be installing a 3 inch screwless vise using only a precision machinist square. In addition to the vise, you will need two T nuts, two hex bolts, and two vise hold downs which are made for your vise. To get the right T nut, you will have to measure the opening of your table. Here we are measuring 0.486 inches. Using the tip chart, I need a 7 16 by 3 8 16 threads per inch T-nut. The hex bolts that I purchased are 3 8 by 16 by inch and a quarter long. When choosing your bolt, keep in mind that they should use a minimum of 70% of the nut when torqued down. Let's begin. Clean your table and T-slots. It is very important to have a clean surface, free of debris. Make sure that there are no dings that will cause your vise not to sit flat. After cleaning, use a lightly oiled cloth to prevent flash rusting. Inspect and clean the vise and set it on the table. Now clean the precision square. You must use the square correctly or you will not have satisfactory results. The square blade must remain flat or parallel with the table. Let me illustrate here. The base of the square must not pitch up or down, must stay parallel with the table. If this is not correct. This is not correct. This is correct. This is properly used. Keep it flat and parallel. Now temporarily locate the vise on the x-axis, somewhere around the middle. With the y-axis at limit, I adjust the fixed jaw of the vise so that I can mill off the edge of my blank. Moving the y-axis to the other limit, I can see that I can use the majority of the vise proficiently. Now inserting the left hold down. Take a look at the hold down using a square. The hold down must be as parallel as possible. If not, loosen the two hex bolts, make the necessary adjustments and try again. With the left hold down on the vise, do a rough square again. Install the right hold down. Lightly tighten the left. Pull back to right. Resquare. Install the right hold down. Lightly tighten. Tighten left again. Recheck to right. You should be ready to cut parts. I removed and installed the vise ten times, and only once was it more than five tenths of an inch out in three inches. And this was only due to my carelessness. Here is a confirmation of one of those tests.